Hello there, fit golfers. Welcome to episode three of Ask the Golf Doctor. My name is Carolina and I'm the fit golfer girl. And this week we will be joined by Scott Miller from Miller Physical Therapy in Delray Beach, Florida. And we are going to be going through one of the most common injuries in golf, shoulder pain. But before, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. First things first, let's meet Scott Miller. Hi, this is uh, Scott Miller, and uh, welcome to my physical therapy practice here in Delray Beach, Miller Physical Therapy. Today we're going to go over some uh, uh, specific aspects of uh, the shoulder and how it pertains to golf. The following question was submitted by Barry via Instagram. I get a really intense pinching sensation and pain in my shoulder after golf. What can I do to fix it? So one of the biggest complaints that we see from our shoulder patients um, is a sharp pain that a patient receives or has throughout um, a range of motion. These sharp pains usually come from an impingement that is uh, occurring inside the shoulder joint and a specific angle of movement. It usually happens when there's a little bit of weakness in the shoulder that's causing this impingement. Uh, it's also being caused by an immobility of the actual shoulder joint. Let's take a look at some of the recommended exercises. We call this stretch the sleeper stretch. Uh, this stretch is going to really help improve your um, uh, overall mobility of the shoulder. So when laying on your side, uh, your elbow is going to be bent at 90 degrees and your shoulder is, is up at 90 degrees as well. And you're going to give a very, very gentle stretch to right above your wrist as if you're trying to push that forearm down towards the table. And each time you do it, you can probably tolerate going a little bit further and further. A good count would be for 10 seconds and then to rest for three or four seconds and then repeat 10 times. This is another great stretch for uh, stretching that posterior capsule of the shoulder and especially when you have a lot of tightness in the shoulder. Here you're going to be stretching your arm right across your chest underneath your chin, giving a nice gentle pressure um, across the back of your elbow, across the chest feeling a stretch just in the back of your shoulder. If you're getting any sort of pinch or pain in the front part of your shoulder, you want to bring the arm down as shown, and you want to hold that stretch for 10 seconds. For this last exercise, you're going to turn, turn your body around, and now you're going to be using that band to push the band out away from your stomach. So you can start with the band and your hand in near your stomach, and rotate your arm out slightly past neutral. And again, make sure that that towel or pillow stays underneath your elbow. This way, keeping your, um, your shoulder and elbow in proper alignment. Here's a great stretch for the front part of your shoulder, uh, which really helps with overall posture and shoulder mobility. You can um, grab onto any doorway or the, um, uh, any type of wall or even uh, the, the end of your golf cart uh, bring your arm up as shown and give a nice little forward pressure. You should be feeling a nice stretch right in the front part of your shoulder and chest muscle. And if there is any sort of pinch or pain in the top part of the shoulder or in the back of the shoulder, just lower the arm as shown. The following question was submitted by Rob via Instagram. I can hear my shoulder cracking and popping during workouts and golf. Is there something wrong with my shoulder? The main thing that you have to know is if you're moving your shoulder and you feel and hear a lot of noise in the shoulder and it's associated with a lot of pain, you need to get that checked out immediately. That can, um, that can be the cause of some pathology in the shoulder. Um, if you have some noise and it doesn't hurt at all with movements, there really is no cause for alarm. It could be uh, the buildup of some, uh, some fluids or gas inside that shoulder joint that could be causing some of that noise. It could be the tendon that's rubbing and snapping over the bony prominence in the shoulder. And if there's no pain associated with it, a little strengthening and some uh, mobility exercises can certainly improve that. All right, Fit Golfers, that's it for this week. If you want me to be your golf fitness coach, don't forget to check out the Fit Golf Girl blog or click the link in the description to learn more about my online golf fitness programs starting for as little as $60 a month. 
Also, don't forget to follow me on social media, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, send me an email at fitgolfergirl at gmail.com. See you guys next week. Mwah.